So are you thinking about moving to Danville, Virginia, and you don't know where to get started? We're going to talk about the good and the bad of living here in Danville, and we're going to get into it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Danville, Virginia, hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications, and you will be the first to know about the market here in Danville, Virginia. My name is David Totten. My team and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Danville, and we love it. So if you're thinking about moving in the next six weeks to 60 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, Send us an email and we'll be glad to help you make a smooth move to Danville, Virginia. So today we want to talk about the pros and cons of living in Danville, Virginia. And to start off, number one, as far as pros are concerned, is the people. You cannot beat Southern hospitality. And generally, people in this area are super nice um, this is a family oriented community we are known also as the city of churches so if you're very religious if you um, are a believer there is somewhere for you to go which helps with us being in the Bible Belt because people are just generally nice if you're walking downtown um, or visiting you know a, a local store or restaurant People usually say hello, how you doing, uh, and they give you a nice greeting. I have lived up to places, and people will bump into you, people will walk by you, and sometimes it seems like you don't even exist. But here, you don't really have to worry about that. Southern men and women um, who still say yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Uh, I know a lot of folks from the north and our west. Um, tend to frown at that but it's just a show of respect so when you come into Danville and somebody gives you a nice smile they don't want anything from you we're just being friendly um, the second pro is downtown um, the city of Danville has gone through a major transformation uh, thanks to uh, the River District Association thanks to our local government Downtown Virginia is growing at a massive rate. Um, you see more people downtown walking, uh, exercising, visiting little shops that are popping up, new restaurants, um, vintage shops. Um, we have um, one of our church members, one of my church members actually, uh, he just launched a hot dog cart downtown right at the fountain. Um, it's Uncle Al's Hot Dogs. Uh, my, my spiritual parents, they just opened up a cake shop, Ma's Cakes, right downtown. There's a wonderful pizza shop right beside them called Delano's. So, and across the street, there's also um, a, a yogurt and ice cream shop called Delishy. So, downtown is booming. There's so much construction going on. Um, at the day of this recording, there are some new lofts being built downtown. So, people are starting to move in. Um, which is right by the the river walk um, which has about I want to say 26.3 miles of trails along the river um, so downtown is beautiful and downtown is growing uh, and which leads us into number three uh, which is investments some of you have heard some may not but we are getting a Caesars Entertainment Casino here in Danby. Now, whoever would have thought little old Danville would be um, Dan Vegas. That's our nickname now because Caesars is coming. They're, we're already under construction. Um, they're looking to launch sometime next year. Um, it's, it's, it's mixed reviews about the casino coming. But as far as investment in the city, um, our city council has done an amazing job. Um, with helping them incentivize to bring them here, which is going to create, um, you know, jobs. Uh, it's going to help the city boom again. 
we were once a heavy textile um, industry city, but now it's changing. So if you're an investor from out of town, um, we have plenty of homes that need your touch, that need some TLC, that need to be completely redone. Uh, we have a lot of mid-century houses that haven't been touched since the 60s and the 70s. So if you're one of those specialists who like to flip homes, Danville is your place. We are in need of new construction even. Um, so please, if and, and I'm here to help serve you, if you are in the market uh, to make an investment here. Um, pro number four, which is economic development. So following the casino coming into town, we also have business, businesses, um, new businesses moving into town. Uh, we have Morgan Olson. If you don't know who they are, they manufacture the box trucks that deliver all of your packages to your home. Uh, Tyson has actually uh, announced that they will be opening a facility here, which makes the wonderful chicken nuggets that me and my kids love to eat. Um, and like I said, downtown, we have restaurants. We've had, we've had so many ribbon cuttings um, just this month alone because our economic development office is doing an amazing job helping business owners launch their businesses. We even have a dream launch program where they are giving business owners opportunities to pitch their business to receive grant funding, um, to, to open businesses, to purchase buildings, to marketing budget, to creating jobs. So. With the announcement of the casino, with what the River District is doing downtown, with what the Economic Development Office is doing, Danville is a prime location if you're a business owner. Um, pro number five, which is Danville is in the middle of every major city um, on the East Coast. So you think about this. We, we are situated on the border of North Carolina, right in the middle of the state. So you have Washington, D.C. is four and a half hours to the north. You have Virginia Beach, which is just under four hours to the east. You have Charlotte, North Carolina, for all of you uh, Carolina Panthers fans, me being one. Two hours to the south if you want to catch a game and even spend the night. Um, I used to live in Charlotte years ago when I was there. Charlotte was booming as a city and my friends who are still there, who I, you know, who I talk to every now and then, they're telling me Charlotte is growing even faster now. Um, so along with Washington DC, Virginia Beach and Charlotte, the North Carolina coast is a three and a half hour drive southeast. So you have um, Wilmington, North Carolina, beautiful city. You have Sunset Beach, beautiful city. You have the Outer Banks, beautiful, beautiful beaches in the Outer Banks. So Danville is close to everything, but far enough away for it to feel like home. Um, pro number six, the weather. Uh, if you I used to live in the Midwest and when you talk about a cold winter, oh my goodness, the cold in the Midwest will chill your bones. Now, it does get a little cold here, uh, but nothing like, you know, I used to live in Iowa and Illinois, but it doesn't get as nearly cold here as it does there. Um, and, you know, for winter around mid-January through late February. I mean, we, sometimes we do get snow, but being more south, we get we get ice. And you, know, you have those people who just think they can drive on any, in any kind of weather, me being one. Uh, but ice is, you know, is a little more dangerous than snow, but um, it's, it's, it's still, you're still able to get around. Um, our public works folks, they do a great job preparing the roads for when, I mean, even when they call for inclement weather. 
um, the city shuts down. Uh, some of you laugh at that, but it's, it's safety precautions. Um, in, in the spring, which is, you know, at the time of this recording, we're, we're very close to spring now. It's only a few days away. Um, checking the weather this week alone, it's going to be high 60s to mid 70s this week with a few rain showers. Uh, when we get into summer, um, it does get humid and it can get hot. You know, we, we edge 100 degree weather every now and then. Uh, but summers are amazing. We have a great recreational uh, par- parks and recreational system. Um, like I said, we do have um, the, the trails by the river. Uh, we have a zip line park now. Um, and you know, with this casino coming, five to 1500 rooms and resort style. So we'll have a large pool. We have a great YMCA. Um, and like I said, downtown, you can take a walk downtown, visit shops, visit restaurants, take some pictures by the fountain, um, walk over the Martin Luther King Bridge, uh, fish if that's something that you're into. Um, and then, you know, in the fall, if you want to drive up the Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Parkway, beautiful scenery uh, when the leaves are changing on the trees. And it's an awesome drive. Um, so weather is wonderful um, when it's wonderful here Um, so now we're going to get into we're going to get into the cons of living in Danville Um, everything is not um, roses and palm trees Um, so first con is actually the weather Uh, (laughs) so David you just said the weather was good but weather can also be pretty challenging Um, you know, we, we are in the south on the east coast, so every now and then our hurricane will blow through. Um, you know, back in 2018, Hurricane Michael came through, and I mean, Danville got hit pretty hard. Um, our our drainage systems just couldn't handle um, all of the rain that fell so quickly um, in the city. So we had some flooding. Uh, some people lost their homes, me being one of them. Um, but, um, you know, as far as, you know, hurricanes outside of that, Danville is one of the few cities that I know of where you can have all four seasons in a week. So, you know, here recently, um, you know, it was, it was, it was snowing and ice. A few days later, you could walk outside in a t-shirt and some sweats. A few days after that you know, shorts and a t-shirt with flip-flops. And then it's back to snowing a few days later. Um, so the weather can be challenging. I mean, like I said, it does get humid here. Um, so you can walk outside and you get immediately drenched in sweat. Um, because, you know, we're, we're, we're a little further south um, than, our, than our folks that are moving in from, you know, New York, Northern Virginia, New Jersey, um, and I know Florida. Uh, it's, it's pretty humid down there, but it's a different kind of heat. Um, so, con number two, utilities. Uh, I don't know where you will be moving here from, but if utilities in your area are decentralized, do not look for that here in Danville. Um, utilities here are centralized, controlled by um, our local government authorities. Um, now, some would say, well, David, that's great. Um, because I only have to pay one bill to one person. Um, that can be an advantage, but with the lack of competition, prices can tend to skew up, um, or, you know, either way. Um, so um, that's one thing to be mindful of. Um, Danville Utilities actually controls electricity, water, trash pickup, um, but again, utilities are centralized here so please be mindful of that um con number three allergies um so if you're not from here if you've never visited here um you know you you can see a snowstorm um but think about walking outside um in the morning to go tackle your day and you have this blanket of yellow stuff all over your car well it's pollen uh, whether it's tree pollen, pollen from the grass, uh, 
usually late February, early March when, you know, the, the trees and, and, and flowers begin to, to bloom a little bit, pollen can get really bad. Um, you have some folks who don't struggle with allergies at all. I am not one of those people. My daughter, she is not one of those people. My wife is not one of those people. Um, allergies can get really bad here. Um, now, I have heard, um, and I, I, I do, you know, th use this hack, is getting some local honey, put it in some tea, um, water, or whatever you drink. Um, mixing a little local honey um, helps counteract some of the, the allergens that are in the air. Um, of course, you know, you take your Zyrtec um, Claritin D and you can get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Um, con number four, I know some states you don't have to worry about personal property taxes, but here you do. Um, you pay personal property taxes on your real estate, of course, but if you have multiple cars, expect to pay personal property taxes on your vehicles. Um, if you have boats, expect to pay property taxes on your recreational vehicles um, and, and what have you. Man, for me, you paid taxes when you bought it. Yes, I get it. But, you know, to help with, you know, managing the, the, the roads, thoroughfares, sidewalks, um, the parks, I mean, we do pay taxes. So, and that's, that's one thing that you just can't get away from here. Um, it is paying taxes on personal property. Um, if you have questions about that, um, give me a call, shoot me a text. I can send you tax rates for um, our, our local municipality, and I'd be happy to share that information with you. Um, number five on the con list: bugs. If you <laughs> mosquitoes. Um, can get sometimes this big and 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 they will bite you uh, we have you know the ladybugs we have cicadas every now and then um, if you sometimes you'll see roaches some places um, and they can get pretty big um, but what do you expect in the country um, we have you know ticks sometimes can be uh, a problem especially if you if you play outdoors in the woods a lot um, but just be mindful of, of the bugs. Um, sometimes they'll get in your house, especially those little ladybugs will be flying around. Um, you know, if you like to leave your doors and windows open, cracked, um, just be mindful that, you know, a ladybug or two or five or six is going to get in. Um, some people don't like bugs. Um, spiders are, are another thing here. Um, so, you know, just be mindful. Uh, flies. Uh, especially if you like to be outdoors um, when, it, when, the, when the weather warms up and you like to grill, cook out, you know, down here in the south, keep a fly swatter handy. Um, if you're going out, make sure you put some bug spray on um, and, and, and that should help. Uh, but just be mindful of the bugs. I mean, this is the south. This is the country. You can probably hear it in my voice with my southern drawl. Uh, but, you know, country boy. Bugs don't really bother me. Um, so that's con number five. Um, the last one that I would say, um, which is, you know, number six, which I, which I did tell you to stick around for, um, is just be mindful that the real estate market is competitive, um, just like everywhere else. Um, you know, one, one, one thing to the advantage is some of our home prices aren't as um, high um, or, or demanding in, in some areas like uh, New York, Florida, California. But home values have gone up in Danville tremendously, um, 20, 30, some 40 percent. Um, and the market is competitive. But if you have a good realtor and agent, um, which you know which i am it's no problem uh, we, we look forward to helping you we look forward to assisting you get the home of your dreams um, that is really why i'm in business is to make dreams come true um, so you know don't think that you know you can bring um, a, a suitcase of money down and think that you you know the house is just going to be available for you we do have to um, you know, follow the processes 
of, of, of winning a home. And that's what I'm here for. Um, so if this information was helpful to you, please subscribe, um, click the notification bell so you're notified um, about the current market here in Danville and all things living, um, eating, sleeping, breathing, Danville, Virginia. This is David. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye now.